Hey y'all, welcome back. This is going to be your next 72 for the sign of Virgo. So if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, these messages may or may not resonate. Please take what apply and leave the rest. If these messages do resonate, please like and subscribe. Anything you need to know about me will be down below in the description box. Okay, what messages do you have for Virgo for their next 72? We got the Ace of Swords. And we got the Seven of Pentacles. We also have the Temperance card. We have the Tower, we have the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Four of Swords. So I feel like truth and clarity comes in about some sort of investment, or this can be some sort of, um, this can be something that you planted, some seeds that you planted to grow. I feel like you're going to start seeing those, uh, Seeds start to grow or come into fruition. With the temperance card, I feel like things are going to be balanced back out. There's going to be a, um, something's here going to be put to, put to rest as well. I also want to say a peaceful resolution here with the temperance card. I'm also feeling like with the tower, you could have experienced some sort of tower where it, it required you to hold on to the money that you had. But with the Nine of Cups here, I feel like there's some sort of wish coming here. There's some sort of wish about to be granted for you. Something that you've been wishing for is about to come towards you. And also something is being put to rest, like I said. I feel like whatever this tower was that had you, like, holding on to something or holding back, I feel like that's what's being put to rest here. What's the tower and the four of pentacles? This can also be somebody holding on to you. Yeah. We have the four of wands. Somebody could have been holding back some sort of information about a home. Yeah, we got the world card here. The cycle is getting ready to end. What's the Ace of Swords there? Yeah, we got the Four of Swords again. The truth and clarity is something, you're going to find something out. And it's going to put a situation to rest. So, Virgo. If some of you have been going through a situation or was going through something, this could have been in the past as well. I feel like there's some truth and clarity coming to you around this time that's going to put a situation to rest. There can also be somebody trying to make you go through a situation that you went through before in the past. And I feel like um, there's going to be a tower here. Somebody, it's just like somebody doesn't want you to have stability. Yeah, we got the page of wands here, but there's some good news coming in. Expect a phone call, Virgo. I'm working. Hold on. We have the Queen of Swords. We have this, the Eight of Swords. We got the High Priestess, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like there's someone could be trying to call you or wanting to come towards you. Or this could be you, Virgo. You could be guarded here. Or you could have cut some people off that were trying to keep you stuck in some sort of um, illusion. 
I feel like you also know because you're the high priestess. You knew about something when it came to somebody making some sort of, trying to make some sort of small offer here. I feel like somebody was trying to make you a small offer to be a part of your happiness. Yeah, but it was only to cause confusion with the seven of cups. Somebody only wanted to stay around you or be around you to cause confusion. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, this could have been a father figure that you blocked here, an emperor. Yeah. I feel like this father figure was trying to make some sort of small offer to you. Somebody came in with a small offer. But I feel like you were very intuitive. You're the high priestess here. You knew something about this offer. I feel like somebody only made you an offer to keep you stuck. Somebody wanted to have control over you. Somebody wanted power over you. Somebody wanted to be a part of your happiness. But it's only for it was only so they can cause it was only so they can cause confusion here. Yeah. But something backfired here on this person. Or you end up you end up blocking this person. Yeah. We also have the Queen of Pentacles, your energy. There could be some sort of cash infusion coming in for you, Virgo, but there is also a Queen of Wands in your energy or around you that is, that is like either indecisive or wants you to be indecisive. Or this person could have also been trying to keep you stagnant in a situation as well because you rejected them also. Now they are, they're feeling irritated and frustrated with you or about something that you're doing. This could be a mother and a father that's been doing this to you, Virgo. It just seems like both of these people are upset because you probably ended up walking away from them. I feel like you are rejecting these people because you are, like I said, you're the high priestess. You know something about them. Or Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. Like I was saying. Okay. Like I was saying, um, you could know some sort of secret or truth about your parents or a mother and father figure. These people could have been trying to make you some sort of offer to keep you stuck or trapped in a certain mindset or a certain situation. Somebody wanted you to be indecisive. Somebody wanted you to, somebody was trying to blindfold you here. Somebody wanted you to be in a stagnant position. Like somebody was trying to keep you in some sort of illusion. I also feel like these people know that you received some sort of money here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. And I feel like they know that you're happy. They also know that you are a wealthy, grounded, mature woman as well. But I feel like whoever this is, whoever this, whoever this is, you ended up cutting them off and blocking these people. And now they're in the Nine of Wands energy. They're irritated and frustrated because I feel like whatever it was they were doing backfired on them, and now they can be confused. They can be the, they can be confused with the seven of cups and trying to stay strong with the strength card. But you're being you're being guided into calm waters. We have the Vudan root, respect, survival, liberation, and freedom. Yeah, yeah, Virgo, you are being you are being free from this situation. You could have also been in a um, a situation where you had to be in survival mode, but I feel like there's liberation here for you. You are you are about to be free from this situation. That is the truth and clarity that is going to be coming in for you. That is being put to rest, dealing with um, being in survival mode. Dealing with hardship. There's an end to that. A cycle is ending with hardship with you, Virgo. We have Hecate's Path, Cycle of Life, Night Magic, Crossroads, and Letting Go. Some of you could have been doing night magic, or they could have been doing this to you. They, these people can be up at night doing magic on you to keep you stuck, stagnant, or in some type of fucked up situation where it's like you're repeating something that happened before. Or this can be you up doing magic to get yourself, you know. I don't think it'd be, I don't think it's you, Virgo, you know, because most of us, you know, we like to go to bed. We like our rest. So this can be those type of people that can't sleep and be up just doing magic all 
times of the night on you, Virgo. Just hoping that shit don't go right. So if some of you wake up and realize, you know, your day is not going so well. Just know it's these people that are doing this fucking night magic on you. Because they can't seem to let you go. These people are holding on to you. Somebody is trying to resist a tower moment here. We have Songbird, Hexbreaker, Sound Healing, Final Goodbye, and Release. Yeah, Virgo, so you could be you could be the one that broke a hex that was on you. Yeah. You can also be healing and telling people, you know, saying your final goodbyes to them, releasing these people. You're releasing these people. This can be your parents. We have Drawing Down on the Moon, Divine Feminine Source Channel and Stillness. Yeah, Virgo, you are Divine Feminine here. You are you are a divine you are a divine feminine. Yeah, stop. You are a part of Source, or you are well connected with Source. I'm gonna give you guys a. Damn it! I didn't use my good card. All right, let me get you. Let me get y'all one of these. And I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get y'all three of these, and then we're gonna do a blessing card. What other messages do you have for Virgo for their next 72? Wow. Damn. Look at that. Virgo, you have protection around you. Did you see how that car flew out this deck? I mean, it jumped out. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, your whole team wants you to know you are protected in this situation. You do not have to worry. Do not fear the unknown. What else? We have potions and spells. Like I said, Virgo, this could be you or this can be what these people are doing at night. They're using potions and spells on you. But I wouldn't even worry about it because you're protected. Look, they can also be doing candle magic on you. Fucking weirdo. Yeah, we have Dark Moon. I want to get the key words on that. We also have your ancestors here, Virgo. I told you, your ancestors are here. I, I want to say this Dark Moon is something that's being revealed to you. Some sort of truth. But let me get the key word, y'all, because I don't want to mislead y'all. And what number is that? Yeah. Okay, we have new beginning and letting go. Well, this could be you. Understanding, I mean, not understanding. Finding out some sort of truth and clarity about these people and you're releasing them. You're letting them go. Yeah, I know. I feel like you also know these people have been doing spell work on you. Damn, they're probably your whole fucking life. Like I said, this could be your own fucking parents doing this shit because you don't want, I don't know, it's just like you don't want to deal with these people or you already know what kind of people they are. I mean, honestly, they're not parents. They're not parents at all. They're the kind of people that want to just fucking suck up every damn thing you got and, 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 and don't give a fuck about how you're living in return. They want to take... Everything from you and don't care about how you're going to, you know. They don't care about giving anything back to you in return. They want to just take, take, take. So they want you around. Or they want you to be in contact with them just so you can constantly take, so they can constantly take from you. But you cut them off. Also, and it can also be about money as well. They can just want money from you all the time. Hey, they can also just want a lot of money from you all the time, want money from you, period. Or they just want you around because they know that, you know, you could be some sort of, um, I don't know, some sort of magnetic energy where it's like you bring in certain things. For, I don't know. Just whatever weird ass shit they be on. They feel how they feel, but they are mad now and they're feeling confused trying to figure out why you cut them off because you figured them out. You know who they are. But I'm going to give y'all a blessing message and I'm going to let y'all go.
Spirit, what blessing messages do you have for the Virgos for their next 72? Yeah, we have a blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided. Yeah, so these people could be going through something. Like I said, they're trying to avoid a tower here. It's like these people are trying to hang on to you every step, of, like every every moment or every step of the way here. They're, they're not trying to release you, but I feel like you already released them, Virgo. What else? For some of you, you could be focusing on a new love with, that you have with somebody, your, your new relationship or something like that. We have a blessing on the earth, yeah. You can also be... Um, You can also be spending a lot of time in nature. I also feel like the universe it has stepped in to help you as well. Mother Nature also. We have a blessing on the children, yeah. So if you have children, Virgo, there's a blessing coming in for them. What else? What else blessing do you have for Virgo? Yeah, we have a blessing for you to find your way. Some of you could have been lost or feeling lost at some particular time, but I feel like now you're finding your way, and there's also a blessing on your family. Well, that's all I have for you, Virgo. I hope this helped. Please stay tuned, and I will be back. I'm out.